to step out your front doors. I wonder if Martha is as friendly as Gav claims. Let's go and find out, shall we? Agents to Eastpool, leave them in the park. Honest work building the aqueduct. Excuse me, would you happen to be the landlady? Depends who's asking, and why they have an imperial bearer with them. For protection, which hopefully won't be needed, if you can advise me on the safest route to the west. It's your friend here I'd be worried about. Bearers don't have an easy time of it in Rosaria. Even a strapping lad like him might attract the wrong kind of attention. And if he gets nabbed, it ain't likely to end well for you either. Then we'll just have to stay out of the militia's way. Gav said you might be able to help us. Follow me. Sorry for before. Can't be too wary of strangers asking questions in our game. I'm Martha, an old friend of Sid's. He said he had high hopes for a bearer who joined recently. I expect that's you. So, where is it you're headed? For Phoenix Gate. We have questions that need answering. Is that so? Well, if you want to avoid the garrison, the road through Eastpool's your best bet. Or it would be, if the bridge hadn't collapsed. A right blooming nuisance it is. We've had no trade with the village for weeks. I did ask our carpenter to take a look at it. But he went out on another job. And he hasn't come back. Do you think something might have happened to him? Fingers crossed he's just taking his time. The alternative didn't bear thinking about. We'll find him. And make sure he's safe. We both need that bridge repaired. Your carpenter sounds like the man to do it. I see why Sid's got such a soft spot for you. If you could, I'd be in your debt. You said that he went out on a job? Right. He went down into the marshes to check on another bridge. The one by the, the marshes with the his name. To the marshes, then. Let's find that ladder. Very good to Eastpool. Here's the gate. And that must be the ladder. Thank you, my lady. Not at all. I am. I'm afraid. Well, I just spent. If you hadn't. We're just glad. Bye. Actually. The court. Ah, the trusses are still sturdy. It's just a matter of replacing the stringers and relining the deck. I'll have it done in no time. Thank you, Bernard. We're very grateful. I owe you my... Thank you, my... You're with... I see. Well, I best... We will. The 
bridge will be fixed when it's fixed, all right? I was supposed to be in East Hall yesterday. I hear the levees are due to go up again. Do you like that? Well, there's plenty more where that came from. Ah, you're back. What happened? Did you find Bernard? We did. Oh, well, it was luck. It's the blight. But anyway, I don't have a... We'd be delighted. Can I get you a drink or anything while you wait? Flagon of Imperial Gold, perhaps? Tastes like swill, but it'll slake a thirst. No, thank you. I prefer the truth about why there are so few bearers around here. Yes, there were more of them when we were young, far more. Is this the Empire's doing? Have they been sent away? They have, aye. Either to the Legions or Auriflam. Seems the miners at Drake's Head are having a hard time keeping up with demand of late. So the bearers make up the shortfall. Time was, they used to dole out crystals like sugar plums, even down here in the provinces, but not anymore. Nowadays, they'll jump at any excuse to confiscate our bearers so they can be put to work elsewhere. I always knew the Empire treated their branded like shit, but after seeing it with my own eyes, well... Congratulations on the new arrival. And you got a little laddie with you? It was a bearer. The boy I carried for nine long moons. A bloody bearer. Oh, you poor thing. You gave it to the constables then. Just left it at the garrison, I Let them deal with it. Couldn't wait to be rid of the blasted thing. Been wanting it gone since the moment I found out. Well, it's all dealt with now. So no harm done, eh? Mum, he weren't my brother, was he? No. But you'll have one soon enough. You just have to be patient. All right? All right. Unbelievable, isn't it? Bearers may have been looked down on back in Archduke Elwyn's day, but they were still human beings. Now, they've fallen so far, a beggar wouldn't spit on them. Since you're not drinking, do me a favor and take that to the Abbey. There's a darkness, the heart of this world, and I'd have you see it. And we'll see it at an abbey. Glademond Abbey, on the shore of Sorrowise Bay. The abbot there is a friend. Tell him Martha sent you, and he'll show you what I mean. Understood. This work building the hack. Make sure you're aiming that at the fish there, son. Come and have a look. Fresh, fresh cut. Die. Fresh cut. Get your fresh cut gear. I knew that children were tested. Fate was decided at birth. And assumed it was best for all concerned. 
I know. But for a child to be blamed, to be hated by its parents through no fault of its own. Good day to you. I'm afraid the Abbey is not open for public prayer. May Grieger go with you? We came to offer a donation from Martha. I see. Then please follow me. I don't want to die. Please, Father. Something for the pain. Thank you. The light. You fade. I don't want to die alone. It's all right. I'm here. Who are these people? Martha's bearers. She entrusted them to my care, that I might ease their suffering. To the extent that I can, for the time they have left. has taken them. All of them. As it does every bearer forced to use their gift. With each draw on the ether, their bodies petrify, till all that remains is stone and pain, and so they are cast aside. There is nothing either Martha or I can do to change that, but we can at least strive to make their final hours a little more bearable. <laughs> Have faith, my son, for you shall rise again and find the happiness denied you in this life. Thank you. I must offer you my own thanks for the medicine you so kindly brought. Ah, their final moments may be moments of peace. When next you see Martha, pray tell her that Two more have succumbed. We should get back to Martha's rest. Yes, we should. Good, honest work. Ah, you're back. 
Thanks for taking care of that. The abbot had a message for you. To... I see. Come upstairs. So, now you know, eh? I've seen plenty of bearers die on the battlefield. But never like that. And all because they were born different. The powers that be can't take away their gift, so they strip them of their humanity instead. Oh, there's plenty who pity a bearer's plight. But so long as we're content to sit around, weeping for those on whose broken backs we're carried, we ain't gonna change nothing. And so you lend Sid your strength. What little of it I have. Use profits from this place to buy the poor buggers. So when the abbot told us the bearers were yours? Aye, they're my property, at least by law. Any still fit to work fetch a price beyond my means. All I can do is care for those who have passed mending. But it's not all doom and gloom. Bernard's finished fixing that bridge for you. You can carry on to Eastpool now. You got questions that need answering, ain't you? Well, I wish you luck. Thank you, Martha. Oh, I almost forgot. Sid and I have other friends in your area. Wear this and they'll know you for one of us. And know that you will always be welcome here. You were right, Sid. It really is them. Lord Rosfield and Lady Warwick have come back to us. And long may they stay. Sid. Ah, Clive. You're not where I left you. Hurt your hand. I did, I. With a thousand little lightning bolts. Can't fling them around the way I used to. Think of it as my decoration for long service and exemplary misconduct. come here to compare war wounds. We didn't. Thank you, Sid. For everything. <laughs> if you want to leave, that's your lookout. I'm sure you'll have a long and happy life together if you stay out of my way. Sid! <laughs> oh. No. you ago, back in the day. She was a slave to her fate, just like you. I wanted to save her. For a while, I even thought I could. But just because you think something doesn't make it true. Sid. Saviour. Just a conceited old fool. I talk about people forging their own futures, but instead of handing them the hammer, I beat them with my own. And if no bugger wants to listen to what you've got to say, you might as well keep your gob shut. But 
Clive. I will say this. You're not a monster. You're the same man you've always been. Accept that, and you may yet escape your fate. My fate? Look, lad, you've had a hard life. And I don't see it getting much easier. You might not be able to save anyone else. But at the very least, you can save yourself. <laughs> I'll try. And Jill. I'm sorry we didn't get a chance to talk. But I trust you'll take good care of the boy. Yes, I will. Is that the last of it? Aye. We'd best head back then. Wouldn't want to keep Nan waiting. Good right, then. Levies are due to go up again. I under Martha said the blight had spread even further south. Clive Rossfield. Huh? It's me, Hannah, Rodney Murdoch's wife. Lady Hannah. Oh, I knew it was you. You haven't changed at all. The Lord Marquis and Jill, too. It's so good to see you both again. It's good to see you too, Lady Hannah. If you have time, you simply must come back to the house. I haven't much to offer, but what is mine is yours. We should be delighted. And you have been wandering the world ever since. I can well understand fleeing from those iron blood brutes. But oh, to take to the road at such a tender age. It uh, wasn't easy. We survived, and... And now we're back. It's wonderful to see you safe and well, Lady Hannah. <gasps> Do you think you will stay here? in Eastpool. Rosaleth still enjoys the Mother Crystal's blessing, does it not? You could always move. This house holds a lot of memories for me. So long as I can live here in peace, 
Here I shall stay. Not that it matters. The capital is closed to civilians, by order of the Duchess. Or should I say, Her Imperial Majesty. Annabella's marriage to the Emperor of Sambrec heralded a great many changes here. Yes, of course. Oh, forgive me. I, I didn't mean to. Oh. Please, there is nothing to forgive. Would my mother not make an exception for you and your husband? Surely she would not refuse the Lord Commander. Oh. You haven't heard, then. Rodney passed away on the night of the fire. He never returned from Phoenix Gate. My poor child, you look pale. All this traveling must have taken its toll. I insist you rest. We can talk later. Are you sure you don't want to sleep inside? I can't. Not after what I did. Lady Hannah said she would prepare a change of clothes for you in the morning. She really has been very kind. of killing. Thirteen years without the faintest glimmer of hope. It was only Joshua that kept me going. I swore that I would avenge his death. That I would kill his killer. That was the only thing gave my life any meaning. But if it was me who killed Joshua and Murdoch and all the others, then why the hell am I still breathing? I ask myself the same. <laughs> when I fought, hundreds died. There were so many bodies, so many lives cut short in their prime. That day in Dalmechia, I... I wanted to join them. I wanted it all to end. I couldn't bear it anymore. If living meant being that, better to be just another body. Do you remember that night on the balcony, when we looked up at the moon? I said a prayer to Metia, and that prayer was answered. You came back to me. The heavens must have a plan for us. We should get some rest. Right. Good night, Clive. Sleep well.
Thank you, Lady Anna. Perhaps now people will not flee at the sight of me. You look just like Elwyn did when he was your age. How did you come to have some of my father's old clothes? Oh, before Elwyn became Archduke, our families would often summer together. He and Rodney were like brothers. These clothes have been in a wardrobe for years, collecting cobwebs along with everything else. Well, I'm very grateful for them. And sorry for depriving you of your memories. Not at all. It's what your father would have wanted. They suit you well. Thank you, Lady Hannah. Yes, thank you. You've been most kind. No, I should thank you. It may only have been for a short while. But seeing you again took me back to happier times. Fare you well, my lord and lady. And you, Lady Hannah. If we follow the road to the north, it should take us all the way to Phoenix Gate. Let's go. Y you Those are Elwins. By the flames. Your mistake. You can't. The self-same garments Hannah was keeping for you, if I'm not mistaken. She always swore that she would never part with them until the day Elwyn's sons returned. And now that day has come. <laughs> Why, you'll be able to take your bearers back as well. My bearers. Forgive me, Master Mayor. I was a child when last I came to Eastport. I didn't recognize you. Oh, I'd be surprised if you recognized anything at all. Much has changed since Rosaria fell to the Empire. Not least for the bearers who once served her noble families. When the Iron Blood sacked Rosalith 13 years back, Many who lost their masters fled here, in search of sanctuary. And never returned. Aye. The plan was to send them home. Rosaria... Back in your father's day, any bearer who lost their master became a ward of the duchy. We'd hand them over to the sheriffs that went... And that... They're yours by right, Lord Rosfield. Bequeathed you by your late father. And they'd be better off serving you than hiding here. Indeed, many of them used to serve your house and still consider the Rosfields their masters. I'm no one's master. Not anymore. They wouldn't be safe with me. I. Uh, but one. I don't. Only the. It would. He's. Find a man as my father. You're not so very different, you know. Especially dressed like that. Come on, let's go and meet that bearer.
Bryce. What's it to you, Bearer? Your friend asked me to get rid of the wolves. So I got rid of the wolves. You'd have none again. He's not here. Well, I can't leave without meeting him. I've let the mayor down once already. It would be cruel to disappoint him again. Right, let's ask around. Someone must have seen him. I'm li ah, funny. I'm s oh, Nibbler. No. Anyway. Thank you. Well, now. Unfamiliar faces. Will. Ah. Yeah. What's it? We. Well, I never. Hey, what? Well, I'm a. Will. You should go and have a word with him. He'll be in the stables. Patrick the Chocobo Keeper. I'm sorry, Jill. For... ...making you do all this in my stead. It can't be helped, if we're to keep up the pretense. Come on, let's head for the stables. Bloody hell's he got to? Excuse me, but is something the matter? It's this bearer I've been minding. I take my eyes off him for one minute and he disappears. He's not in his usual spot by the well, nor anywhere else in the village. You must be Patrick. I am, but... And this bearer you're looking for... He's an elderly man who used to work in the Rosalith Castle kitchens, yes? That's the fella. How do you know all this? I've never seen you in Eastpool before, but you seem to know the place better than I do myself. Well, then, he's... I understand. I hope he hasn't wandered into trouble. Let's just concentrate on finding him. Still no sign. Could he have strayed even further?
There's someone over there. It might be him. We should hurry. We can't lead them to the old man. They need to die. Agreed. Sick of Toggle! Are you all right, my friend? Come on. Let's go home. Your Grace. You came for me. I waited for you so long, and you finally came. I... Clive. Um, yes. It's nothing, will we? No, my one. I will come back. Of course. Thank you, both of you. You've been most kind. The memory of serving the late Archduke was as one light in the darkness. And now that light burns a little more brightly. It's nothing but a fantasy, of course. But it's better than the truth of the matter. A damn sight better. The blight, if it were we... Is it really... So bad, but I know a man named Sid who would gladly give a home to any bearer in need of one. Leave this with me. As soon as I return from Phoenix Gate, I'll speak with him. Thank you, my lord. Will you be passing through Eastpool on your way back? I should very much like to speak with you again, if you have the time, regarding the future of the village and what might be done for Lady Hannah. After all, she's done for us. Yes, of course. I'll be back anon. Fare you well, my lord, my lady. I wish you a safe journey. Deadlands are aptly named. I didn't realize they were this close. No wonder their crops are failing. The blight is leaching the ether from the soil. And when the last drop is drained, their fields will turn to this. No plants. No animals. No life. And no monsters. I suppose that's one small mercy. We won't be able to use any magic here. Another thing to worry about. As if the absence of ether didn't cause enough problems. Take away the lad's life force, and problems are all that's left. I can hardly imagine what this place used to look like before the Blight took it. I remember. It was beautiful.
there it is. Phoenix Gate. Where it all went wrong. Come on, Clive. It's time to discover the truth. 